okay guys um, it's finished downloading so we have the Bible notes app and the zip file of the King James version so what you want to do now before you start installing these um, apps you will have to close your OneNote 2016 and your regular OneNote so I'm gonna to go to my regular OneNote and I'm gonna close that I'm gonna to come to the to the 2016 one if it will let me here we go so I'm gonna close that too so make sure you have both of them closed while you install this so I'm gonna come here and I'll click on on this but if you if yours doesn't have this down area where they are downloaded you can go to your um, download area like uh, let's say go here and go to download and you will see them here okay so you can either go to your download folder or you just click from here and just download them okay or install them so now I'm going to click on this so it's going to start installing the Bible app all right So you want to you know, see select whether you want to repair or remove note. I'll just say repair. I think it still has my old one that was in there. Let's see if I can do that. All right. So next, it's going to open this out for you, uh, and um, you just got to click to allow. So say yes, and then just follow this next step. Okay, so it says Bible has been successfully installed. Click close to exit. So come here, you just click close. So the next one you do is the King James version. So you just click on that. So module uploaded successfully. So click on that. So now it's going to do this little thing here and now you have this ready to go right so all you have to do now is go to let's see so this is selected king james version is selected so you can just go here and click apply okay so it's telling me wrong notebook specified okay i don't I don't want any of this I already have them so I don't think yours gonna have any of this issue but mine already have all of this okay so I'll just click well let's see create from template maybe it wants me to recreate all of this you guys shouldn't have any of this because mine was already there before so that's why it's telling me to redo all these things again all right so it's just going to give you this a little bit this error stuff because it just opened right here you just opened your one note so it's going to give you this error but it's fine everything should be okay all right okay so now it's opening the bible app so it's here somewhere i just gotta look for it <laughs> so let's see all right so it gave me the supplemental which i already have let me find the bible here we go so here's the bible so it's saying one because there was one that was in my um one note before this video i deleted it just to show you guys how to install it that's why it's giving me this one so if I click click on this um, drop down button it should show me more of what is in there see that so now I have the Genesis the Old Testament 
and then the next one will give me the New Testament right here and if I go all the way down go all the way to Revelations alright guys so that's um, the Bible app and it also comes with a Bible study see that so if I click on the Bible studies it should just give me you know so it's telling me please wait I think it's still sinking into it and then also you see the comments to the Bible and there's a one there telling you I already had that before okay so this is how you can download this into your um, OneNote it's straightforward okay guys and also to now make it to get to your app to your OneNote app is just as simple as syncing everything and importing it from this to from the 2016 um, OneNote to your OneNote app I hope this is clear enough for you guys and I'm going to try and demonstrate that for you so I'll go to my OneNote app okay so as you can see when I go here I don't have the Bible here right because I've not imported it into this one now I'm going to go to more notebooks I click on more notebooks now it's going to give me all the highlights see I already have the Bible here again see that so I already have it so this is what it's being synced from this one all right this is what is being synced from this one all this is gonna they're gonna sync well all right so it's just time because it's a, it's the bible 66 books okay so it's it's a lot so it's gonna sync it right now you have the old testament so genesis should display so genesis chapter one all right here should display chapter three should display all right so let's go back to our OneNote app remember OneNote app and OneNote 2016 these are the same that will sync but they are different version of app OneNote 2016 has more um, more features to play with like they, they come with macros and other stuff but they don't have that much in the app okay the OneNote app so now we're going to just click on let me use this um, see which one should I use it doesn't matter just for the sake of this um, tutorial I'll use this new one I downloaded click on this and click on this so you want to click on the the Bible yours is not going to come with one yours will come with just the Bible uh, yours will come with just Bible studies okay so I'm going to click on comments to the Bible Bible and Bible study then I'll just click open so it gives me three right so open so now it wants me to see not name upload this to cloud yep well it like it did it by itself like whatever <laughs> all right so now I'm gonna come here let's see upload to yep upload it now let's do that I'm just waiting for those so you guys um, while we wait for this let me know if you have any other questions about this or if you want me to do any other video concerning OneNote planners and um, other stuff that you guys would like to see and please if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing to this channel because I'll be creating more content just like this and um, if you hit the bell notification you will be notified every time I upload new videos 
and don't forget to give your comments down below share this video to the people who you think will appreciate this and also um, give a thumbs up a like in this video and um, you know you you guys will be getting more stuff from me like this all right this will take some time you know so let's see where it is now all right guys but that's exactly how you do it I don't want to waste your time about this so if you you know get to this part you're done actually if you get to this part when it says opening and it's giving you this roller coaster thing you're done okay so at the end it should look you know like it should look like this with your Bible but of course it's gonna have the <laughs> excuse me it's gonna have the interface of the OneNote app all right let's see where it is now all right guys so i'm gonna end the video here but that's how you install it it is simple straightforward if you have any issues please let me know okay and thank you once again for joining me and i really appreciate you guys and guys take care of yourself and god bless bye bye